Young Epilepsy Farm is the jewel in the crown of the organisation that for over 100 years has provided support to young people with epilepsy and other neurological conditions. The farm at Young Epilepsy has been in situ ever since the, uh, the area was um, identified as a suitable uh, training, uh, farm training colony, which is way back in 1896, I believe. Uh, from there, it has developed into the Epilepsy Hospital School, and now, of course, we know it as St. Piers um, the Young Epilepsy Campus. Students who have severe and hard to manage epilepsy some coping with up to 40 seizures a day and whose complex needs range from autism and severe learning difficulties, communication and mobility problems really enjoy the environment. But despite its use, the farm was in desperate need of renovation. It could not be used in poor weather conditions, had limited access for users with mobility problems and could only be used by up to 14 students at a time. But thanks to an unexpected donation from a former student, the story of Young Epilepsy Farm took an exciting new turn. The project got an amazing kickstart with a fantastic donation from a woman called Mabel White who's a really special person in this story because she used to study here at Young Epilepsy. Um, she had epilepsy because of a head injury and she found that her life was turned around by being here on campus and by all the experiences that she had and by being looked after properly. She gave an incredible generous donation in her will to Young Epilepsy and this development really would not have been possible without that. Now, thanks to an incredible quarter of a million pounds generously donated by the public and local organisations, the farm can now comprises of six log cabin classrooms, four animal shelters, a hay store and a wetland sensory walkway, all of which enables up to 80 students to take vocational and non-vocational courses in animal care and horticulture. The transformation has been truly amazing. The new opportunities it now offers young people are second to none. They benefit from achieving accredited learning in land-based studies, but they also, far more than that, develop self-confidence. They build relationships with the staff from the farm, but also of individual animals. Um, some very subtle relationships. They develop skills about caring for other living uh, things. Uh, they work as uh, members of a team together, share um, experiences um, around the farm and things that work and things that don't. Uh, they gain functional skills, they develop their maths and English without even knowing it, which is fantastic. Uh, they also learn skills uh, about the veterinary visits and they see things that they perhaps would never get the opportunity to see. So it really builds a whole vocabulary of knowledge uh, and experience. The learners, it's, it's a massive thing to see them smile and talk to others when they may have never had that opportunity. It's, you can't describe it, it's, it's just amazing. And Natalie has been one of the stars helping us develop the retail area by asking and going around and taking surveys of what types of plants people would like to buy. Are you favourite plants? Oh, what are my favourite plants? I think they must be roses. What are you favourite colour? Uh, my favourite colour would have to be a nice deep red. What do you think we do with the apples that fall off the trees if we can't use them to eat? Who do you think we could give them to? What animals do you think? Horses! Horses? What other animals uh, might? Pigs! Pigs love apples. I've always had a good time um, doing this and, and I, I just really like working in gardens because um, it's a really good um, thing to have and um, I really just like love um, gardening and just being outside all the time. The other add-ons are that they are developing their independent skills, they're taking ownership, they're decision making, they're working with other people, they're, um, in, um, they're looking at um, their functional, developing their functional skills, making decisions, having to do things for themselves is one of the skills that an employer would expect um, someone to learn, plus many other activities. Behaviours change when they're out in the environment, working with animals is a, is a soothing, soothing and calming thing for a lot of the learners. 
The impact of the farm is, is very significant. It's huge for some of our young people. Thank you so much for all your donations. It's going to make a massive impact on all the children here now and for generations and generations to come.